You might note that my surroundings here aren't the same as you've seen on videos in the past. I'm in the Mimbres River Valley area of southwest New Mexico where my brother-in-law has chosen to retire. This borders on the Gila National Forest. The valley is as peaceful a place as you will ever find on the planet, a little arid with hot springs dotting the property. The ranch, as he calls it, has been his respite for 40 plus years. And those hot spring tubs are clothing verboten. There will be no pictures. In the past few years, he's built his retirement home here and begun to settle in from a career in academia in the University of Colorado Boulder. In addition to the striking scenery, total absence of air traffic, and warm, welcoming adobe architecture, the noises of nature dominate this little slice of heaven. Doves, coyotes, river flow, even the occasional sparrow flock are constantly communicating, and the glorious reality is that there's so little ambient noise, I can hear them all. Now, I'm not normally a guy who seeks out quiet solitude, but I could adapt. By next Wednesday, however, all that will give way in my life to rallying. For the second time in six years, I'll be piloting a 72 Datsun 510 historic rally car in Missouri's Rally in the 100 Acre Wood. For those of you who are uninitiated in this rather exciting sport, one car at a time is released on a closed gravel road for anywhere from oh, 4 to 15 miles of flat-out speed. We go as fast as we can from start to finish and then cruise sanely to the next closed road where we do it all over again. Forty years ago, I would do this six to seven times a year as a driver. More recently, of course, I've chosen the role of co-driver. But let's face it, everybody really wants to drive. So I'll get to do that this Friday and Saturday, March 17th, 18th, down in the Mark Twain National Forest. Now, how do I make the transition from peaceful, uncluttered respite of the Gila National Forest in one of the most beautiful spots in the country to all-out acceleration on gravel roads in the Mark Twain National Forest? Another of the most beautiful spots in the country? I don't know. I guess we'll see. When the green flag drops, though, I'm certain I will be rested and centered and ready to enjoy the dusty, loud, raucous theater of rally. The following week, I'll look over all my pictures from New Mexico. I couldn't be a happier human being knowing that my life intersects both of these extremes and allows me to engage such a breadth of experiences. Very natural child. It's Kim. And this is another moment of my clarity.